name is Arzan Akhtar and you are watching my channel Arzan Akhtar. So, in my first video you watch my introduction, my beginning. So, from my second video we are going to start what is my channel about. So, my channel is basically about education, education you know what is, it's about study. Okay, it's about study. So, if you like my videos, please hit that like button. And please subscribe to my channel and don't forget to put on the notification bell to get the updates of my channel first. So, so you are thinking that what I am going to teach in my channel. So, I am going to teach three subjects. That is Math, English, so, so I am not going to teach you literature, I am just going to teach you language, English language and a little bit French. So my days, so I will just upload my video thrice in a week, one on Tuesday, one on Thursday and one on Sunday. Okay. Start. So we will start with maths today. So which classes I am going to teach? I am going to teach six and seven because their course are just similar. So in maths, six and seven have integers. Sorry. integers as their first chapter so I am going to explain you what is integer what is about integer and uh, in the next math stones I am going to explain you addition and subtraction multiplication and division so what is integer integer is just about numbers and there are many types of numbers you have been studied many types of numbers uh, till now you have studied only natural and whole numbers. So first uh, let's take a quick revision. What is natural and what is whole number? Natural is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. The numbers that start from 1. Whole is 0. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 and so on. So whole number also consists of 0 and natural number consists of 1. Okay. It is starting with 1. So now what types of numbers integer con consist? Yeah. Okay, so integers con consist of three types of numbers, positive, negative and whole. So I am just going to explain you what are these types of numbers. Whole you know, the number starts from zero but in integer, whole is only zero. Positive after zero. The number that comes after zero, for example, we can say 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and so on, okay? And then negative 1, the number before 0, that is in negative form, sorry, that is in negative form, minus 1, minus 2, minus 3, minus 4 and so on, okay? So, check. So, uh, so, what, so now we will see that uh, you have studied after and before so like this 14 after 15 15 uh, 15 before 14 okay so in your previous classes second and first you have studied i hope so now what these numbers can tell about integer an integer as in uh, numbers 14 15 16 which is greater 16 but an integer minus 1 minus 2 minus 3 uh, sorry minus oh, okay i will give you these sets of examples only minus 14 minus 15 and minus 16 so here 16 is greater so here also 16 is greater but it will get a wrong answer because in negative form the number less is is more greater so this will be right now minus 14 is a greater number start so now we will be talking about number line 
What is number line? Yeah. So this is number line. Okay. You can see a middle point is zero. It's whole whole number. These are the negative one. These are the positive one. Okay. So if your teachers ask you. Find the number minus seven in a number line. So how you will tell them? So you will tell by zero, one, minus one, minus two, minus three. You will draw such a line like this: three minus four minus five minus six, and over here minus seven. So a line like this, and minus seven a circle. It's in a good way. So. Now we were studying after and before. After the number lining seven and eight and nine, then we will study after and before. So the numbers after zero is called positive. You know, and the number before zero it's called negative. Okay, and the zero itself is a whole. Okay, so hope you can see it. So now we were also studying that so in minus. This the number just the number closer to zero is called greater. Okay, so now if I will give you a question, find the greater number. The number, and I will give you numbers such as minus twenty one, minus seventeen, and minus ninety four. So, your answer will be ninety four. No, but in negative, no. But in because in negative, the number closer to zero is called the greater form. So as in a, in a you can draw a number line in your mind also. You have drawn number line zero. Now draw 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 draw. Which number came first? Se seventeen. In number line number seventeen came first. Mine seventeen. Then it came minus twenty one, and then it came minus ninety four. So which number is closer to zero? Seventeen. So the seventeen is the right answer, or you can say it's the greater one. So this is right. So guys, for today only this much. If you like my video, please like my video and subscribe to my channel and put on the notification bell to never miss an update from Arjuna Tech.